This is real stuff. (laughs) Question number two, and and we're going to start with the Wolf. Carson Wentz's devastating ACL tear has many owners scrambling for their championship lives. That's true. I'm actually playing a guy this week who had Wentz as a starter, uh, hurt his team pretty bad. Questions are raining down. Can I trust Nick Foles? Well, can we? Is there anyone else worth looking into? Wolf? So the question I keep getting is Nick Foles or Jimmy Garoppolo over and over. I've had that same exact question six different times, so I really hope I don't miss this one up. Foles is the high upside play there. I mean, the offense is incredible. The line is great. He's going to have all the time in the world. And he's a system quarterback. He he performed wonderfully when he fit the perfect system, I believe, with Chip Kelly a couple years ago. The guy can play on an NFL field. He's done it before. Can he fit Doug Peterson's system now, too, is the real question. It, it, I'd rather play Garoppolo if it's up to me, and I have both options, just because we've been seeing him do it, averaging 300 yards a game, uh, over 300 yards a game. Still hasn't found the end zone as consistently as we'd like to see, but at least I know it's there. That being said, I'd like to pick them both up because Garoppolo gets the, uh, the Jacksonville defense week 16, so if you do make it by Garoppolo, get you through to the next week you can't start in week 16 then it gives you a week to scout foals see how real he is he gets oakland of really horrible defense but man if you just need the ceiling you need the explosion the giants is an awful defense we all know that so Foles comes with some real real upside this week too most cases though i'm going with garoppolo on the safer floor derek Look, I, I talked about him earlier this week on waivers. I think uh, Foles was my number three ad, and I actually didn't talk about Jimmy this week uh, because, look, Foles, the guy that I, I actually talked about uh, him being very comparable to and situation, just situation, is that you're taking a quarterback that is is below level of whatever you had before in a sense. But skill position players around him are awesome. And so Foles could be the new Case Keenum this year uh, for, for fantasy playoffs. I mean, like, like Wolf, was, Wolf was talking about, look, the Giants are a great matchup this week. I think he carries a very high floor. The only worry that I have is if they go run heavy and go away from the pass. I, I, st- I think Foles can absolutely operate this offense. I think they're going to tailor made it to him. Great skill position players are random. Like I said, if you're going for the one week guy, I look, I can't fault you if you go Jimmy over Foles, but if you're going for the rest of the season, you need a guy to 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 carry you and Foles and Jimmy are both out there, then I'm going Foles over Jimmy because like Wolf was saying, Giants this week, Raiders next week, you got the Jaguars breathing down Jimmy's throat right now. I, I I've got to go Foles if, if face between the two of them. I agree for whatever it's worth. 